what's up rebel nation welcome back to my channel in this episode i'm gonna discuss the launchpad on mmf crypto one of my favorite projects on chronos network hands down they have delivered quite a bunch of stuff and i'm impressed they deserve it so if you're new to my channel i suggest that you subscribe first and also follow me on twitter i have all the links in the description for your convenience and I suggest you also check out some of the previous videos I've created and they have been organized and do playlists, okay? The last project that I participated in the pre-launch on MM Finance was, let's see, yeah, it was Savannah Finance and it was insane, okay? I'm gonna save my experience for another day because I've already created a video two days ago on Savannah Finance explaining certain things and I clearly said this is what I'm doing it's, it's an experience and I like to do certain things if you want to follow along it's up to you but I don't want anybody to ape in and then you lose money and then hey man I lost some money you said you're making money yeah I'm making money I'm still making money but you will lose money if you're buying at all-time high and you have to have certain experience in order to play with yield farms matter of fact I don't have to do this but I plan on doing a follow-up on this Okay, maybe give up, uh, give out uh, some of the yield from strategies that I use, which actually works out for me. And uh, yeah, feel free to use that. Take whatever is helpful and ignore the rest. Okay, so stay tuned for that. I plan on doing it sometimes uh, later this week or weekend maybe. All right. So in this episode, like I mentioned, I'm just going to talk about two launches. One's passed, which I actually didn't participate. I missed out. That was a gamble fi. It was very recent let's see latest as usual any project that launches on <laughs> mm finance it just takes off and so far this is the sixth and the next one that's coming up that's uh i believe feb 21st which i'm going to talk about in a second but this one gamblefy it was uh, well for six hours long duration 3 a.m eastern to 9 a.m eastern and they raised 9.6 million they just wanted 1 million and in six hours, they raised 9.6 million. This is insane. And it doesn't mean that the projects are really good. It's just that people believe in MM Finance and the team so much. So that's why I tell you guys, whatever you see doesn't mean it's going to give you a wrong impression. You have to read the project. It's not easy. And I missed this. It's good. I don't have to get on, involved with every single project out there. And, you know, I told you I'm not really, really interested in gamble kind of stuff. If it has staking, I probably might dig in. For example, I just played around with it a little bit. You can clearly see I have two tokens. And based on the pre-sale, which was, I believe, $10. So pre-sale token, each bid file was $10. And currently, based on this chart, I don't know, it's, it's insane. If actually it went all the way to like 115 during the launch, 16 Feb, if this is accurate. So then it fell all the way down to like, 16 and 20 whatever whatever happened I have no idea but sure if it was all the way high and somebody sold that's insane so pre-sale ten dollars and sold at 120 whoever did that's crazy profits and currently sitting at rested it actually did go up to like 100 uh, sorry 15 dollars and then right now sitting at 13 which is still above the pre-sale price all right so decent it's still brand new and currently sitting at only 2.4 million market cap and i haven't played around with this i'm just checking it out you can clearly see i have two tokens and i have no clue what it does and but it looks really cool and very neat really clean really clean i'll just tell you something real quick okay currently the market is insane you can understand what's happening inflation and i'm not going to keep repeating this every single day because most of us psychologically we're conditioned to focus on anything that trends and we lose our focus on you know the main goals that's what happens everybody's talking about nfts and nfts you know what that's my next topic okay i'm gonna keep it for the next one because i really want to focus on the launch pads in this for this one right so here my second video pointless crypto video when you watch that i plan on doing a series so-called like episodes pointless videos crypto videos where i can actually talk about every single thing that comes on my mind that I can connect with or what I've discovered, whether it's NFT or scams or airdrops, whatever. So it has no topic. It has no title because I don't know what I'm going to talk about. All right. So it's pointless. And when you watch those videos, you have to be emotionless or else you're going to get hurt. 
because I'm going to be very raw. Simple as that. I don't want Moon Boys to follow me or subscribe. It's just how it is. All right. I want rebels. I, I don't want sheep. So stay tuned for that. Let's get back on topic. So Gamble 5. Okay. I have, there's so many pro, uh, projects out there, literally. Like the past ones, I mentioned earlier on, I participated in, um, in MMO, in Croissant Games, uh, Crow Predic, but I didn't stick around for long, probably just two days. Savannah Finance, I'm still in it, okay? It's kind of crazy right now, but here's the deal, right? Like I mentioned, inflation, and this dude, dude comes out of nowhere earlier today, blames Russia for inflation and all kind of craziness, and then the market tanks. Stock market and everything tanks, and now all of a sudden everything seems green after losing significant value, like 90% of the, all the values. So what's the point though? I'm actually going to discuss, like keep it really raw, like sooner, like, you know, what's actually happening. Because there are people, well, underground people that's barely noticed who will speak the truth, will tell you, you know, the Ethereum that we had recently, like in 21, when Bitcoin went to 69k, it's not going to be easy to see that again really soon. It probably will take a couple of years. And nobody wants to hear that because everybody wants a bull mar market just like tomorrow. And we, you know, by the time tomorrow comes, it's going to be like a couple of years already. So how about we accept the reality and plan accordingly and strategize? Because what we are fed with out there, you know what, like I said, I'm going to keep it for the next topic. Okay, so let's let's keep it on, keep on track. But I have to get this out real quick so the market is uncertain so whatever projects you get in right now it is really risky i'm i always mention my long-term holds so follow those you have to because those are the best ones right i talk about um let me let me just pull up my screen real quick i talk about some of the projects uh, on osmosis mainly if you look at the list here these are all most of the ones i have over here are long-term holds right but then i play with farms and some degen stuff which i play around with and you can follow along, you can do what I do, it's up to you. So if I get wrecked, we go down together. And if we go to the moon, we do it together, right? But I wouldn't suggest you ape into any project without knowing what, what you're doing. Like I've been playing around with farms, I have some experience. So I don't freak out what I, when I see this kind of stuff, right? And uh, yeah, I understand what's happening. So anyways, here's the deal. The market is uncertain. So if you get into any kind of farms, whether it's a farm or uh, I don't know, whatever, NFTs, you're just buying hype. That's all I can tell you. You're just buying hype. Unless the project delivers. I've seen a lot of projects. They've been riding the wave and milking the trend with NFTs. And man, I just feel bad. It just, it's just so sad to see people losing money, which they could actually use on eel farms. I I mean, you'd rather put those money. Well, by the way, not financial advice, but you'd rather put those money in a shit coin and make more. I mean, I can, you know, sometimes I see that there are some projects that are worth less than shit coins and they have way over like they they're way overvalued crazy market cap and i feel like if someone could would put probably money in a shit coin that would perform better in the long term it's insane right i mean i don't know and i actually want to call them out you know naming and shaming i guess because if you don't call people out or call projects out which are bad then you probably won't know uh what to stay away from Right, so I'll probably do my best to, you know, clean up the mess, and the fa the fact I can't stop people from doing what they're doing, but I can spread my message, educate you, or you know, and it's up to you all to do your own research further, and then make your own decision. Yo, we all are freaking grown-ups here. We gotta be responsible for our actions. Hey man, it's your fault. I saw your video. You said you're making three three hundred dollars a day, and now I bought in. Now I lost three hundred dollars. Well, did I ask you to buy in? Excuse me? I told you stay away from my farms. I don't need nobody to pump my bags. Unlike any other piece of garbage out there, like NFT creators. Oh my God. Even in this bearish market, when people, are, everything's uncertain, people are still milking. Making the, oh my God. Oh, by the way, that's my next topic. So stay tuned for that, okay? So anyways, back on track. I am not going to talk, talk about Gamble Fi because, like I said, I'm not involved with it. And this market is uncertain. What I was trying to say, if market takes off, I don't know when, these projects, which are right now, you, you, you probably want to keep an eye on these projects, like the ones that's launching 
on uh, MM Finance because these can actually perform really well. You check out Croissant Games, really neat interface. Check out even Crow Predict. I just didn't get a good vibe, but their interface, they're, they're working on it. They're improving. Okay. And uh, yeah, Savannah Finance, uh, just one of the, this is the one that's uh, backed by MM Finance. But then there's another one um, that's uh, obviously this one. And then there's uh, last one's, the seventh one that's coming on 21st Feb. Okay. Which I'm going to read in just in a sec. Okay. But it's, yeah. So this is interesting. I probably will participate in this. I'm keeping an eye on this. And uh, let's see what happens. And two major reasons. One, because NFT market is 100% profit redistribution to token holders. All right. The only sad thing about this marketplace and the launchpad is uh, it's overflow model, which means the rich gets richer. If you have more money to allocate, you get a better position. So yeah, unless you can play small, compound, and then grow your portfolio and be in a position where actually we can play big games. You get the point? It's difficult. I can understand. A lot of people, we start small and it's difficult. And by the way, I mentioned this. Uh, I created a video yesterday talking about ad drops. Watch that. It probably will give you an idea how actually someone can uh, start small, use the ad drops to an advantage, take advantage of the ad drops and actually maximize the gains and grow their portfolio, right? So take profits, then compound and etc. etc. So anyways, I suggest you check it out. And I plan on again covering and providing uh, further updates down the road as I discover if, and if anything changes. All right. So Gambleify, keep an eye on this. If the market takes off, these are the projects that actually are good. They are uh, on track. They're delivering. But just because the market is shitting, they can't take off. Right? I just mentioned a few minutes ago. There are some projects I've seen clearly. They are just hyped up. They are right now. They're only in green. Or even if they go to green, it's just because of either shilling, community shilling, or the influencers promoting. And that's about it. It has nothing to back it up. As soon as... There's no shill, no influencing, uh, you know, powering it up. The whole thing is going to crash. Those projects are nasty. You want to stay away from those projects. Stuff like this, either, I don't know. I, I, in crypto, anything is possible. It can go to zero, whatever. We have to have that mentality that, you know what? If this happens tomorrow, where will I be? Am I going to go kill myself? Which you shouldn't, of course. But you get the point. Like, you have to reevaluate. So anyways, so Agora... I plan on getting into Agora and I'm going to compare this with this uh, Ebis way. I'll tell you why. And I mentioned the overflow model. So what happens is even if I participate in this Agora launchpad and I probably might get a tiny allocation. However, I will keep an eye on this. You know why? And that's why I told you DexScreener.com. Bookmark this. Just put whatever uh, they will have the Ego token, right? As soon as they launch, they will have this token. Plug it on this. Make sure you understand the chart. Check out the chart. Do not buy all-time high. That's what I've never do that, obviously. But also it depends. In some situation, probably have to buy it for whatever reason. So I will check out the chart. And if I want to get involved with it, and if I don't get a decent allocation, I will probably buy in later on. Just like what I did with Savannah Finance. I got a tiny person. Oh man, 0.001 or something. 0.1 person. That was crazy. And I bought in as soon as it launched real early and I didn't buy all time high I was actually pretty much decent and that's why I'm still in but again I mentioned I'm gonna talk about this in um, some other video okay so yeah check out the chart buy in and that's that's my plan okay if I don't get a decent allocation this is what I'm gonna do and on top of that uh, let's uh, let me tell you why so first of all NFT market is 100% profit distribution token holders okay I like to be involved with NFTs but NFTs are going nuts oh my that's insane. However, there are some good NFTs. And that's not my topic again today. I've created a bunch of videos on NFTs. Check it out. Chronos NFTs continued. And I actually have another video coming up tomorrow. That's also going to be a pointless video where I tell you how NFTs are ruining crypto space. Yeah, while everyone's talking about NFTs, you need to hear the real, the other side of it. Because if you don't, then you won't get it. I have experience with uh, NFTs quite a bunch, and that's one of the reasons I have. I, I can tell you, you can you can check it out. My NFT collections here. I talk about um, some uh, multi-back NFTs here. Matter of fact, this Sunday the community voted that uh, I talk about multi-back NFTs live. It's right here, 
So if you want to change it, you still have time. All right. I plan on going live this uh, weekend, Sunday. Usually I used to go live every other day. I was regular and I do plan on going live almost like, you know, frequently after once I receive, uh, well, once I'm in a certain position, because right now I'm really busy with what I'm doing. I have quite a bunch of stuff going on and I'm really excited about this whole projects, uh, crypto stuff and whatever I learned. You see, most of the time I'm building behind the scene while most people are shilling garbage, making you guys poor, disappointing. I'm trying to work behind the scene, trying to research and find out stuff because uh, I know I will be rewarded. If you're good, karma pays back. Simple as that. You give whatever you give, it comes back. It happens to me and it did. It did it, you know, this is how, why I do what I do. Simple as that. OK, I, why do you like to help people? Why are you doing this? Oh, you know what? He, what's your hidden agenda? Oh, man, you don't ask those assholes their hidden agenda who's trying to take money from you. Charging you five thousand dollars to mint an NFT and ten thousand collection—that's like a fifty million dollars or whatever shit that's their milking. Do you even get the point? <laughs> All right. Anyways, so yeah, stay tuned for that. If you want to catch me live, ask questions, follow along, and uh, let's see what else. What else? What else? Oh yeah, let's finish this off with the last ones, right? So Abyss is uh, Agora, okay, this is the marketplace and some of the NFTs, NFTs are decent and once this takes off, when adoption and the bull market or whatever, like a year, two, three, four years, I don't know, it can take whatever years, once, because more people are going to get into NFTs and this is on Kronos, which means you can use the crypto.com app, also the DeFi wallet, they're promoting them in advertising, like top shot, so as soon as people get into crypto.com, they'll you know they'll install this shit whatever and they will get involved with all this agora and that's what they will be presented with all these marketplaces and stuff you get the point so crypto.com there and the wallet the DeFi wallet they're doing the marketing for us all they have to do is try to figure out which uh, you know be early on certain projects basically and take advantage of situations and stuff like that that's all so i will keep an eye on this i still don't know if it's gonna do well because look at this 294 million dollars so far that's not so bad not so shabby for something that just launched and uh, it's a quarter million over a quarter million dollars right so daily volume nine twenty almost twenty thousand um, dollars yeah so this is uh, the second marketplace this was the first one I was involved with well I'm not involved with but I plan on and why I'm going to show you this VIP founding member because it's almost the same concept it's disappointing because right now you can buy a VIP for seven thousand six thousand whatever seventy six hundred crow but initially it was going for a thousand crow for I think 1000 mint so sold out right now they're selling for this in the secondary marketplace I, I don't have any but I'm just showing it to you the reason is if you hold this NFT grants reduced service fees or only access to features and it's takeable in the service fee pool all right so when you go to the drops here you'll notice it says members 150 crow whitelist 150 so means if you're a member meaning if you're a VIP member of course so if most of the drops you get discount Second, they said that there's a staking that's coming, right? Stakeable, which means, I, I'm not sure if I've read this somewhere before. So, uh, it means, uh, they said that if you, uh, they'll, you'll be able to stake it and you get a return of the, the a portion of the, the fee that uh, generated by, you know, the transactions. So I'm like, okay, that's interesting. So if this one has a huge volume, when these things take off, let's say, because everybody's into NFTs. Come on, every sucker, you can sell them NFTs. So I know, like, there will be all the suckers buying into NFTs. And I mean, I'm not saying that all NFTs are garbage, but there are a lot of them garbage. So I can't stop people buying it, right? It's, it's their own thing. Whatever you, you want to do, it's up to you. But I'm just saying, they will buy NFTs. And once the volume goes up, and if this is works the way I, I'm saying, like, if I can stake it and I get like 5% of whatever, I think it's a 5% or whatever uh, they mentioned earlier on, you know, on the paper. I have to check, actually. So if that works that way, so what happens is you're getting a portion of the fees, basically. So in the long run, it's just a passive income, right? So it'll be interesting. However, I ain't going to spend 7600 right now. Now nah, I have better opportunities. I'm just saying. But if you have that lying around, maybe you want to check it out. And if you're big into NFTs, maybe you want to check it out. I'm really not that big. I'm just a noob. You get the point? Exploring. So anyways, Agora. So why interested? Because... It says markup is 100% profit redistribution. Almost the same method. You get to you hold it, you get profit from the 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 
you know, the token fees and stuff, right? Transaction and all that. So I haven't actually gone through any of these, but there's tokenomics seems decent. I could be 100% wrong, but it seems decent because uh, staking 29%, trading rewards 55%. So they are not holding. I have seen tokenomics where it says team 20%, uh, in, in investors 30%, everything. Like, you know, it's all for them basically. Whitelist, their VPs, whatever, 10, 20. Public, 2%. Hold on, what? So public, public rewards. Not public sale, that's different. Public rewards, 2%. Staking, 1%. Hold on, so the community gets 2% and 1% staking and the VCs and everybody gets like 10, 20%. Nobody questions those things. Yeah, because everyone's focused on, oh, look at the game, look at the hype. It's gonna make me millions of dollars. Man, there's so many topics I, can, I have in my mind right now, which is insane. And that's why the pointless crypto video is necessary, guys. It is necessary. It has to, it is... It's gonna change humanity has to to some extent let's see what happens all right so anyways i'm gonna take my leave and i'm gonna keep an eye on this so if you're interested first of all what you should do number one subscribe and follow me on twitter and second you follow them agora abysbus and chronos news what not what not you can see here chronos chain news when you follow one of these accounts they actually give you uh you can you can actually get updated you stay updated with uh, all the latest stuff that comes on Kronos Network, okay? I've actually created a video um, in the past where I show you where how I use bots to keep up with my... Uh, where was this? It was quite some time back, probably a month, three weeks ago. Yeah, you probably have to find it somewhere here. Uh, I show you how, to, how I use a bot to uh, follow um, accounts to keep up with, you know, crypto news and stuff. So maybe check it out. It's somewhere around. I don't know, you gotta find it. It's just gold. It's pure gold. Alright. So anyways, stay safe. Don't get wrecked. I will keep you guys posted what I find out, etc, etc. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for my stuff. Let me know whatever questions you have in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Rebel over and out.